Welcome to the ACD Labs technical movie that illustrates the method for producing multiplets in version 10 of ACD 1D NMR processor. We will begin with a proton experimental spectrum. As you can see, many processing steps have already been performed on this spectrum. We have already Fourier transformed the data, peak picked the spectrum, referenced to DMSO, and integrated and attached the chemical structure. In order to begin multiplet analysis, we click the Multiplets button on the Operation Toolbar. When creating multiplets, we can work from left to right or vice versa. Here we will start on the right and work our way to the left. Note that by zooming in, we can better characterize the multiplet visually. Zooming is accomplished by clicking the right mouse button and then clicking and dragging the left button over the region that we are interested in getting a closer look at. In order to zoom in on the spectrum vertically, simply use the click wheel or page up and page down buttons on your keyboard. Starting with the multiplet centered on 2.35 ppm, simply click and hold the left mouse button and drag across all of the peaks that belong to the first multiplet. When you release the mouse button, the multiplet is automatically created along with a red stick model of the coupling pattern that has been detected, and the J-Coupler dialog box appears. The J-Coupler dialog box contains all of the information that you will need to create and edit multiplets in a 1D spectrum. This includes an assigned name, in this case, M01, because it is the first multiplet that we've created. The chemical shift of the multiplet in PPM, the number of protons assigned to the multiplet based on the integral area, and the coupling pattern and constants that were automatically detected. Please note that all of this information is modifiable by the user, including the multiplet name. It is also important to be aware that the number of protons assigned to the multiplet is normalized by the number of protons on the attached chemical structure. If no structure is available, this normalization is not possible and will need to be set by the user for the first multiplet. To proceed to the next multiplet, we can use the scroll bar on the bottom of the spectrum display area or the zoom window. Now create a multiplet in the same way. Hold down the left mouse button and drag across the region of interest. Release the left mouse button and the multiplet is created. You can see that the same type of information that was produced for the first multiplet is now available for the second one. An automatic name is assigned, as well as values for chemical shift, number of protons, coupling pattern, and coupling constants. You may choose to utilize this manual point-and-click procedure for your entire spectrum, but you should know that there is a completely automatic procedure available as well. The automatic procedure identifies all multiplets in a spectrum and determines their coupling patterns and constants without needing any input from the user. For demonstration of the automatic procedure, we will first discard the multiplets that were created manually. We do this by clicking the Clear All button in the Operation Toolbar. We may also want to zoom out to see the entire spectrum. Now notice that the first button available on this toolbar is the Auto button. By clicking this button, we will produce a complete set of multiplets for this spectrum automatically. The dialog box that appears shows us how many multiplets were created by the automatic procedure. If the Auto Zoom feature is enabled, you will be taken automatically to the first multiplet when you click OK. Now we can review the results of the automatic procedure and make corrections if necessary. Open the J-Coupler dialog box by clicking on the J-Coupler button in the Operation Toolbar. Once again, we can see all of the relevant multiplet information in a single window and review it for errors. The two most important pieces of information that we should check before we move on to the next multiplet are the coupling pattern and number of protons that have been assigned to this multiplet. In this case, the coupling pattern has been identified correctly as a doublet of doublets, and the single proton that has been assigned to this multiplet is correct. To proceed to the next multiplet, use the left and right navigation arrows on the J-Coupler dialog. For multiplet number 3, we can see that the automatically determined coupling pattern is not correct because a peak that is part of this multiplet has not been picked. Fortunately, we can correct this problem quite easily. Simply click the peak button in the J coupler dialog box and then move the cursor underneath the peak you want to pick. If the red peak line appears, click the left mouse button and the peak will be picked. In some cases, the peak is a subtle shoulder on another peak. 
If this happens, simply hold down the shift key while the cursor is under the spectrum curve and this will force the red peak line to appear. Then click the left mouse button. As you can see, as soon as the missing peak is added to the multiplet, the proper coupling pattern is detected and no further action is needed by the user for this multiplet. Now we can stroll through the rest of the multiplets that have been created. Taking care to ensure that the coupling patterns and number of protons assigned to the multiplets are correct. We are also being careful not to identify any impurity or solvent peak as a multiplet. If we are satisfied that all of the multiplet information is correct, then it's time to prepare this multiplet information into journal report format. We do this by simply clicking on the report button in the jcoupler dialog box. A multiplet report window appears which contains all of the information that we just extracted from these multiplets. A nice feature from this window is the copy to clipboard button which copies the text in this window to the clipboard. So you can paste it into another application, such as an eLab notebook or Microsoft Word. This gives you a properly formatted, professional multiplet report with the minimal amount of effort. This concludes our technical movie on multiplet mode. For more information on ACD 1D NMR processor, along with other ACD Labs products, visit our website at www.acdlabs.com.